Well, this could be my lucky day. I was just drinking that uh, Lone Pine OJ, the double dry hot ones, which that was absolutely amazing. Check out the other video. That was the, it is the perfect beer. Really good. If you like IPAs, New England IPAs in particular, that is a great beer. Anyway, I went back to the, I thought, well, I don't know if I need another beer. I always felt like driving, I felt like driving to Total Wine because I saw they had a, a variety pack and they also have that um, OJ in, uh, I think in a four pack. But I didn't because um, that beer is 9.1%. Anyway, rambling the beer, excited because look what I found in the fridge. Look here. <gasps> da, 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 da. I don't know what that music is. I have another OJ one, but this one is the double IPA, but not the double dry hopped one. Yes, <gasps> it's like Christmas in May. Oh my goodness. What's this say? Oh, anyway, let me shut the fridge. I'm still drinking that uh, other OJ one, the double dry hopped one. This one says, Fresh squeezed American hops packed into a pure citrus box, 0% fruit, fresh, never frozen, not from concentrate, unfiltered part and part rice, because all good things are wild and free, craft beers are better fresh, live yeast may settle. Yeah, they're still in Portland and Gorham, Maine. This one is 8.1%. Maybe the other one was 8.1. Maybe my eyes need testing. I thought the other one said 9, 9.1, the double dry hot one. But, um, what does this say on it? Yeah, it's got lousy printing. 11.322 Candon. So it's about six months old. Just checking that Total Wine website again. The four pack of the OJ. Double IPA, it's like $14.99. The double dry hot one, OJ, four pack was $20.99. It's worth the extra. Well, I don't know, let me taste this other one. Let's see if it's worth the extra. You can't get better than five out of five, 10 out of 10, can you? Just check the other can. If you check the other video, uh, the other one's 8.1 as yep. well so uh not quite as uh yellow not quite as chalky but a very look at that it looks like uh i don't know it's like mango juice doesn't it nice head tight bubbles nice and creamy let's see how good this compares to the other one Hardly any smell. Yeah. But yet, very nice, very similar. Um, fruity notes, a little bit dry as you swallow, leaving a dry taste in your mouth. Very nice beer. This is a very nice beer too. What it's missing for, from that uh, double dry hot one, the double dry hot one has a much, much better aroma. And, but some beers, as we found, some beers have a strong aroma and poor taste. This one has a great taste, but uh, it's missing the missing the dank smell and it's missing the uh, little bit of the fruitiness. But it is still a very nice beer. I would say splash out the extra five, six bucks and get the double dry hot one. But if you can get this, you won't be disappointed either. There you go, it looks a good beer, doesn't it? Looks a good beer, tastes a good beer. It's gone down pretty quick. Not quite as creamy as the other one. Not as many bits floating around.
But you know, the other beer they put a lot more effort in and obviously the cost um, reflects that. But the also the taste, but um, two good beers, actually three. The other one was that Tessellation. That was really good too. I gave that 4.5 out of 5. And their variety pack is a fourth one, which I've not tasted yet. So I'm definitely going to have to get that as well.